is a man that everybody knows. Good morning, Corey Young. Yes, good morning. Nice to have you with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. <laughs> I know you have some updates that you want to pass on, and we're all eagerly looking forward to this, but I want to find out just where you are now working, because you, I understand that you were System Director of Dining Services. Correct. Where, where are you now? So right now I'm overseeing the fireside in the Potomac uh, Cafe. So I'm actually out, not in the office down here by Village Square anymore. I'm actually relocated back into, well, actually I have a temporary office, I should say, where the old dining admin office was, if you can remember back when it was over there, because our kitchen is under reconstruction <laughs> right now. So mm -hmm. even the office is closed down. So if you're, you're looking for me, I'm over in the old uh, DS office, but um, it's kind of hard to get in and out of there. It's, it's a makeshift uh, dry storage. It's got equipment in there. It's because of all the heavy construction we're going under right now. Well, Corey, I, I just wanted to find out what the change was, but I think more importantly right now is you have some important information you want to pass on? Sure. So I'm going to ask you to give us the updates. So what I'd like to do is I'll just go over some of the events sure. that we're doing in August and then I'll give you some overall updates about dining. Right. So uh, what we have coming up uh, this Friday, um, the 11th, August 11th, we have another farmer's market that's going to be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. down uh, outside on the patio behind the town center store, so outside the country store. Um, this one will not have the cookout attached to it. It's just oh. going to be the farmer's market alone. That's just over, over in town center? Over in town center, correct. Um, this Sunday, uh, August the 13th, we have our seafood fest coming up from 4 to 7 p.m. Um, that was a, um, an offering that we have that's based uh, with sign-ups. Um, if you signed up for that, that's going to be this Sunday. Format's a little bit different this year. Um, okay. There's going to be different stations. Um, there's going to be different offerings than we've had in the past. So just want to get the residents' feedback on that, see how it goes. Uh, we have um, a lot of sign up so far so you encourage the residents to come back to you with their comments of course oh yeah, yeah. of course because a lot of these special events are based on resident feedback so um if a resident doesn't like a particular event or a group of residents don't like it it's obviously something we wouldn't want to do again we want to kind of showcase uh, events and, and if we repeat events we want to make sure they're repeated of, mm -hmm. of events that were successful so um we do encourage the feedback uh, we have on Friday, uh, this is going to be August the 18th, it's going to be National Fajita Day. So there will be fajitas offered in all of the dining rooms. Um, and just another fun event to do uh, outside of the regular menu that you normally see inside the dining room. Uh, on Monday, August the 21st, we have National Spumoni Day. So Spumoni will be offered in all the dining rooms as well. That should be a fun dessert treat. Uh, we have on the 25th of August, we're going to be having another farmer's market, again from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, this one will have the cookout attached to it. So the, the last Friday of the month, when we do have that farmer's market, the cookout is attached to it. And what that is, it's about, it's a, a $6 meal. Um, if you can, if you want to pay a flat $6, that will be like a hamburger, hot dog, coleslaw. Um, we have um, a dessert of some kind, a beverage. Um, and you can come and just sit and enjoy and eat it outside, or you're more than welcome to bring it back. Give us the date again, please. The date for that is August the 25th. That's a Friday. And August where's it going to be held? That's the same location um, on that patio terrace right behind the store in town center. Okay. So that farmer's market will stay in that location right. there. <clears throat> So on the 31st of August, moving along, we have uh, National Trail Mix Day. So we'll have trail mix, trail mix, excuse me, uh, available inside of the uh, outside the lobbies. Uh, the times for that, uh, Village Square will have it outside from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Town Center will have it available from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And Hunter's Crossing will have it available from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So again, that's complimentary. Mm -hmm. So just come and enjoy some trail mix. And this one's going to be very popular, I can tell. Um, I Just by seeing this when it came up, I said, oh, residents are really going to like this. On Friday, August the 25th, it's National Banana Split Day. So we'll have oh. banana splits available in all the, the dining rooms on Friday. Let me repeat that. Friday, uh, August the 25th. And all this information that I'm reading for you is from our dining services events calendar that you can pick up in the dining services office for a copy or you can get one outside of the dining rooms. We have them printed there for you as well. So we have a lot of a fun events coming up uh, in dining, a lot of uh, good events I think residents will enjoy. Well, it sounds like it. 
Uh, so just some uh, overall dining services updates for you. Um, if you all, well, we all know Rainey, uh, who was the assistant general manager in the Jefferson dining room. She has moved and transitioned over to be the assistant general manager in the Potomac Cafe. So she's, she started there last week, so you'll see her there um, starting if you come over to the cafe this week. Um, Amy, uh, who was actually helping out in the cafe for a while, she actually had moved out of catering and was helping in the cafe. She's actually going over to be the supervisor in Jefferson because Nadia got promoted to the assistant general manager. So basically Nadia moved into Rianney's position and then um, Amy went over to support Nadia and Tatanisha over there. Mm -hmm. So that's just so some movements so everyone's aware about. Um, our catering manager, uh, Patrick Jackson, has uh, resigned, uh, just so everyone's aware of that. So we're looking at um, who's gonna fill in in the meantime until we can get a new catering manager. Um, he actually got a new job. He's gonna be working, uh, I think, um, in, in D.C. In the pub with the public schools, if I'm not mistaken. He's leaving Greenspring. He's leaving Greenspring. Erickson. Yes, he's got a job over in D.C. So he will be here, I believe, this week, but I think this week's gonna be his last week mm -hmm. in catering. Um, construction updates, so as uh, residents and staff are well aware of, we're under heavy construction over in the Fireside and Cafe. Um, we're in the first phase, which is going to take six weeks, so we're moving into week two. Um, it's going to take uh, two phases, both encompassing six weeks. So we're looking at a total of 12 weeks for the entire project to be complete. Why you see modifica some modifications to the menu over in, in the cafe. Um, is because of the very little prep space that we have inside of the kitchen now. So there's a, a big construction wall that's been put up. They're actually taking up the floor and they're redoing the walls um, and they're actually putting it in a new freezer. So just so residents are aware, that's what's going on in there. I know you can't see it, but there's heavy construction in there. It's going Corey, on. Corey, uh, I understand that the job done on the floor when they were putting in the new, new dishwashers, mm -hmm was looked so good that they want to now continue that is, is that true well that's true they are using the same floors that yeah. floor that they use in the dishwasher is going to extend and also the walls when we redid the dishwasher we actually they put in new side walls up they're going to actually mirror those walls inside the kitchen as well um, the walls in fireside and in, in, inside the kitchen are the original uh, walls as well as the floor that were built back in 98 when 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 that community building opened so it's in need of, of refurbishment it's in need of to fixing your knowledge will that go on for the other two uh, restaurant uh, dining yeah, so, so event, yeah, so eventually, eventually. Um, they will have to get this flooring in as well now they're not doing that this year um, that's probably going to be scheduled sometime uh, next year in, in, in the process of things but they will eventually get the same flooring as well um, so uh, we're, you know, in that construction phase, and um, it's going well so far. It's just uh, got to get through the 12 weeks. On the lighter side, I wrote a little note over here in Woodland Skies, and I said, summertime is leaving us in a hurry. Are we going to have root beer floats? <laughs> okay, well, I can definitely pass that along to G and his team over there. Um, I, I, I think a good time actually to maybe be able to have it, and I don't want to speak for him, but it, you have Labor Day coming up as well, which might be a good holiday to have it. We normally have a nice cookout menu on Labor Day, so I'll suggest that to him for sure. Um, just let him know. Uh, and that's pretty much all the events that's, that's going on right now in, in, in dining. Uh, we are in the process of still hiring. We're still looking for a, a new, an executive chef for Woodland Skies. Um, as Mark has transitioned over to Fireside, so he's over in Fireside right now. So, so Mark has left us. Yeah, he's over in Fireside. Now, Chef Michael, our, our campus chef, is filling in in the meantime to help okay. out Woodland Skies. But they are in the process of hiring someone uh, for that position. If Chef Michael was here, I would ask him if any of the rumors that I've heard vis-a-vis -vis new tables for Woodland Skies are true, can, uh, can you comment on that? Well, they are true. Yeah, they are. That's actually something that I was working on with, with Ty and with Ty Tanisha before I moved over into Fireside in, in the cafe. So it's programmed 
maybe six months from now or whatever. I, I don't know the timeline for it, but that is true. I don't want to and, pin you down. Well, and the biggest thing that we're going we're gonna to fix is that we have a lot of uh, complaints about the square, the smaller square tables, that That's it's not enough room. Yeah, yeah, there's not enough room. Uh, for for diners to fit all of the items and it gets very cramped and it's hard for the uh, EMVs and everything to get yeah. in. So those are going to be definitely be replaced. Um, but also the tables that we have inside, um, they're going to be the same size, but they'll be new. Um, so we, that that is true, and that's also something that will also go into uh, fireside eventually too. But make it clear to me, we won't have any more small tables. Oh no, you. Well, okay. I don't want to say the wrong. You will. You won't have any more of the small, small ones. Those okay, small squares. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're taking yeah. those out. Maybe yeah. I didn't make myself clear, but we have two square tables. Right. Of different sizes. Right. And the one I'm thinking of is the smaller of the two. I call it the extra small. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. The, you're right. The, the extra small is going away. So. And one more true. on that subject, very quickly. How about the new chairs? When are they coming in? That's supposed to be coming <clears throat> with the new tables. Oh. Uh, so that. That should, I think that's all coming in one, one big piece, so I can um, ask for an update on that, but I know that residents did vote, and the, I don't know, I can't remember myself what Chair C was, but Chair C was the winner. Overwhelmingly, residents voted for Chair C, so that's the one that they're going to go with. Corey Young, you have been a fountain of knowledge here <laughs> with all this good information. Well, thank you for having me. Well, Appreciate I'm it. sorry to have to sign off here, but yes. our okay. time is up. Okay. I do want to thank you for coming on and taking time off from your busy day. Sure. And I'll let you go back to your two venues of response. Construction zone, yes. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Um, stay tuned, folks, because we have the pastoral ministries coming up. But I do want to thank Corey for being here with us today.